Hi guys, welcome to part one of the wedding accessories for the crocheted mini bear. In this video, we're making the little bouquet. To make your little bouquet of flowers, we're gonna start with a piece that looks like this. I'm gonna show you how to make this in a minute. So you need some green yarn, and I'm using worsted weight yarn. That would be the best weight to use to make a piece like this. And for you, my friends, in the UK, that would be Aran yarn, would be the closest uh, weight to this. And you don't need very much. So you can use dark green or light green. And then for the flowers themselves, I just cut three strands. These are about 24 inches long of yellow, purple, and pink. You'll need your blunt end yarn needle. Your crochet hook, of course. I'm using a 4.25 millimeter hook. And a bobby pin. Don't use pins to attach the bouquet to the little bear because that will put someone at risk of poking themselves. Especially if you're holding the bear and you kind of squeeze it, then that pin that you put in there will actually hurt somebody. And if you want to attach it permanently, you can, of course, just sew it right to the bear. So the choice is yours. All right, guys, let's get started. We're going to begin by making the base for the flowers. Row one, we're going to chain eight. So make your slip knot and yarn over and pull through eight times. There's our chain of eight, starting in the second chain from the hook. There's the first chain. Starting in the second one, we're going to put a single crochet in the next four chains. When I go through, I always have two loops of that chain on top of my hook and one loop of that chain on the bottom. And it's just a little bit awkward to hang on to, so just grab a little bit with your finger and your thumb. And then yarn over and pull through. Now you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through. The one we just worked is going to be a big loop there. Going into the next chain. Into the third one now. Into the fourth. Now we're going to put a half double crochet in the three remaining chains. So yarn over, going into the next chain, yarn over and into the next chain, and last chain of the row, yarn over and into the next chain. And we're done row one and now we have seven stitches across. Chain two and turn. Now we put one half double crochet in the first three stitches. Yarn over, skipping that chain we made. One, two, starting right here. Half double crochet in the next three. And now one single crochet in the next three. And now we slip stitch the last stitch and finish off. So go through, pull the yarn through. Instead of yarning over, just pull the first loop through the second loop. And we are done. Finish off leaving a tail for sewing. We're going to weave in the starting yarn tail to hide it. Just bring it right through. I go right through a row of stitches. I'll go right out the other side. Now we're going to add our flowers and we're only adding flowers to the widest part up here and we're leaving this part here free of flowers because in the end we want a little stem at the bottom. All right, so let's start making those flowers. We're just going to do a series of French knots. And I'm going to start with my purple. And I'm just going to pull through from the back to the front. Okay, and I'm going to wrap the yarn around the tip of my needle three times. One, two, three. And then over a little bit so it doesn't pull through. You can't go through the same space you just came through. So go over a little bit so the French knot has something to hang on to and pull through. 
And there's our first little flower. So we're going to go over here. Do the same thing. Wrap three times. One, two, three. I'm just going to leave those yarn tails hanging because I might use them again. I'm not sure. Just might want to fill in one here and there. Okay, doing my pink ones now. I'm just putting them randomly. All right, there's my pink ones and I've left the yarn tails hanging. Now I'm going to put in my yellow ones. Now we're going to take these yarn tails and we're going to spread them out. So one half should go one direction and the other half should go the other and that just reduces the bulk in the middle. And now we're going to trim them up so they're not longer than the green part. Okay, let's close this up now. We're just going to fold it over and go from one side to the other. It's going to be a little bit awkward at the start. Okay, and now we're going to do it again. Alright, all closed up. Now we're going to take our yarn tail and bring it right down to the bottom. Almost the bottom. Don't come out the center. Come out on the side a little bit. Like that. Bring it through, straighten out your bouquet. I just thought of this now, I'm not going to do it, but if you're worried about it ever unraveling, you could put glue here. But I won't do that because it, it holds fine just the way it is, but there's a, just an idea. So we're going to wrap real tightly. The tighter you wrap, the neater it's going to look, and it also straightens out the stem. I'm wrapping very tight. Okay, and then when you get it up here, knot it off. So go through. Hang on to that string with your thumb so it doesn't pull all the way through. And then go through that loop. And then pull tight. Now I can just hide this inside, pull it through. And then just cut it free. Now to attach this to the bear, I'm going to use that bobby pin, and I'm just going to go through it, through the bottom piece, just grabbing a little bit of yarn for it to hang on to, pull it through, and that's it. And then when it goes on to the bear, I just push it through the arm and into the body. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of this video. Now we're ready to make the veil, and that will be in part two. It should be popping up on your screen, and I'll meet you over there.